The 117-year-old Edward M. Cotter fireboat here in the Queen City is back on the Buffalo River this week. It is working to cut through all the ice ahead or during this big thaw we're having. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Christy Maria took us for a ride live on Facebook earlier today. And as he tells us, the Cotter's mission this week is to prevent flooding. 117 years old, never looked so powerful. They brought in a bigger, better, stronger, more horsepower boat. Still at work, the Edward Cotter is the oldest active fireboat in the world. Well, this boat was built specifically for ice breaking. John Sixth has been captain of the Cotter for three years. He navigated through the Buffalo River today to the South Park Bridge, determined to break up the ice before the warm weather thaws it out. So this ice that we're just kind of pushing out of the way is over a foot thick. I can't exactly chip away with that with my hands, but for a 200 ton boat with an extra inch and a half of steel in its hull, it's no problem at all. Keeps the water moving. Breaking the ice serves an important purpose of river by preventing flooding. The Buffalo River has three main tributaries. As the water freezes at the top, the unfrozen water underneath has nowhere to go but onto the river's banks. It's a full day breaking up the river. Today we were out for about nine hours, but that's about average for the clearing crew. We've, made, we've had 12, 14 hour days. <laughs> and this year is about average for the Cotter. The volunteers on board say they usually make about six to eight trips every winter, but they've made as many as 40 in a season. And with a big warm up on the horizon, the crew says the next trip may not take place until later this winter. In Buffalo, Christy Maria, 7 Eyewitness News.